It's technically not illegal, but drivers are being fined anyway. Police are ticketing people who flash their headlights to warn others about radar traps. Now one man is taking on the cops. CTV's Paul Bliss has the story. We've all seen it. Many of us have done it. Flashing headlights to warn other drivers that police radar is up ahead. I didn't know that there is a law against warning other drivers by flashing your high beams in a broad daylight. This man wants his identity kept private for professional reasons. He got a ticket from Durham police for flashing his high beams near a radar spot check. Because I was trying to uh, warn other drivers to slow down because there's a speed trap uh, down the road, as every other driver pretty well does. The ticket cites Section 169.2 of the Highway Traffic Act. It states, no person shall use high beam headlamps that produce alternating flashes of white light on any vehicle other than emergency vehicles. But then only emergency vehicles have alternating lights. Normal cars do not. Those lights simply flash on and off. CTV first did this story five years ago when a Toronto man got the same ticket. Back then, the Attorney General said police should not be making up laws and listen very closely to what Toronto police had to say at the time. There's no law against warning uh, about uh, police operating a, uh, a radar location. Here's the Minister of Transportation today. There's nothing in the Highway Act that specifically prohibits uh, people from alerting uh, other drivers to a police presence. But, says Glenn Murray, police have discretion and the right to interpret the law if they wish. So there's no law against it. Why did Durham police give the man a $110 ticket? You don't have a right to do that because potentially it could lead to a distraction to an oncoming motorist driving the opposite direction. We will issue tickets when you are allegedly caught doing this. You then, it is your prerogative to come forward and offer an explanation in court. If there's a, a law against warning other drivers, then I believe I should have been charged for that. And I did that. I'm not saying I didn't do it. I did do that. The man refuses to pay. He is fighting police in court. Bottom line, there's no law against it. Police will charge you anyway, and it's up to you to fight it in court. And that was CTV's Paul Bliss reporting. We're going to take a short break, but first we are heading...